John Dolan. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Wiser Estate. It's nice. Uh, this is yeah. This is a, a bit of a fixer upper. Uh, but uh, it's it's the place I call home, or certainly have been for many hours lately. <laughs> so this is Darkest Dungeon, and uh, this is the second uh, save I've got going right now. The other one I'm a little bit further along. Yeah. Uh, I'm only nine weeks in, uh, and uh, oh, see, day night cycle. This is an, an in game time clock we're referring to here. You haven't like been sitting here playing this game for nine weeks. Uh, not in a row. Okay. But because uh, I it, worry about you, you know. Sure, and and you're not wrong to. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I've been playing this a bunch. Uh, this, you know, I've got a, a a lot on my plate right now, like Uncharted. I'm about yeah. halfway through and all that stuff, but I keep coming back to this because I'm I'm kind of obsessed. So, okay. um, Darkest Dungeon Dungeon uh, was early access. I uh, played it a little bit back then, uh, but there have been a lot of big updates and a lot of this stuff that was not there before. Um, and all that stuff is real fun. Uh, so, all right, we're going to jump into this, and then we'll explain all this stuff later. Um, but this is your, your home city. You are uh, at the, the crux of the game, if you will, is that we are trying to uh, rid uh, this area of evil. And uh, we had an ancestral home here, and uh, yeah, things went real gnarly when uh, they, uh, like an infectious evil spread through the land. It's very Lovecraftian in a lot of mm. ways. So um, anyway, uh, this game is hard as shit. <laughs> and let's, let's see that. Uh, that's, yeah, that's what I want to see. I want to see you get your ass handed to you. That's gonna happen. All um, right. Okay. So these are kind of my levels, and you'll see that I'm, you know, farther along. Uh, in some than others and there are uh, short and long um, missions okay. like in recommended levels and so forth um, this is the darkest of dungeons uh, which is still locked um, and yeah so uh, it'll tell me you know hey here's what you've got to do for a particular level by clicking on it um, the uh, short usually implies that there's not a lot of rooms and uh, you can cruise through it pretty quickly and, and uh, there's a camping mechanic uh, for longer dungeons to, so that you can heal up and rest and that kind of thing but that also means that uh, you can be beset by enemies during the night uh, right. because this game looks for every way to screw you that it can <laughs> and even during the rest phase of the game it's like oh no 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 you could still be murdered um, okay, so... Uh, so, by, by darkest of dungeons, uh, is that literally, like, a... You are just deeper into it, or, like, further underground? What, what is... Is that, that... Or is that just a naming convention? No, that is really in reference to one of the uh, core mechanics of the game, which is the amount of light. Okay. Uh, so, you are going to carry torches, and uh, I'll show you that here in a sec. Um, I'm just trying to figure out, like, where do we want to go? Because we're going to be using some relatively low-level guys, uh, since this is my uh, second playthrough. So this is short. Uh, I've just got to do a bunch of room battles, and um, that should be... Yeah, that should be good. Okay, so uh, this is my character list. Right now I have them sorted by stress, which is uh, this little icon up here. And, uh, okay. yeah, so, um, wish, wish, well, I wish I could sort people by stress. <laughs> Save me a lot of time. Oh, sure. Sure. <laughs> um, all right. I think my, there we go. Sort by stress. Um, some underlying software was getting in the way there. So these folks are super stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> so I, uh, I've sent this dude to the bar to blow off some steam. What the, how, how did they uh, obtain all this stress? How was it collected? That is during combat, and we'll see that in action. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, you can rename the characters too. Uh, I'll give it a quick right click. And this is uh, the character screen. Um, this tells me, hey, he's level two, but right now he's irrational because of the stress he is under. 
which means that uh, it's all sounding familiar to me. Okay, yeah. it's <laughs> it's be, picture any office work day. Yeah, uh, I was just gonna say. I mean, do these guys ever accrue stress from like they've got a big report they've got to that's due? They got a presentation they got to give at work or something? Uh, the dungeon crawling equivalent of that. Yes. Okay. All right. Um. So, uh, he is also. Uh, these are the, uh, effects on him right now. Um, the worst is that he is a kleptomaniac. (laughs) And the reason I have renamed this character Shifty is because anytime I run him through a dungeon, he pockets about a third of the treasure (laughs) I would normally get. (laughs) That's fantastic. Yeah. So he's, he's stealing it from you, the player. Yes. Yes. Like you'll open up uh, some loot crates and we'll see that. Um, and yeah, but he would steal it. But right now he's off praying to get his shit together. Uh, so <laughs> it's let's... not working. <laughs> no, no, he is. He is not in good shape. He has seen some right. shit, John. Clum- a clumsy kleptomaniac. <laughs> yeah. Always helpful. All right. So I'm all right. We're going to go. Is this a roguelike? Does this have like a. a yes. A... Okay. All right. Yes, yes, yes. This, this is all making sense to me now. Okay. So we're going to take uh, a healer. So she's brand new, just right off the uh, the cart. Um, she she has comes... no fucking idea what she's in for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's in for some shit. But uh, I need a healer, uh, and and she's kind of a, a back of the row. Satanophobia. Kind of yeah, uh, plus twenty stress damage versus the unholy. That's not great, mm. but uh, it costs a lot uh, gold wise to remove this. You have to send them to a sanitarium. Um, it's, it's I'm, I'm I'm really liking what's uh, what I'm seeing here so far. <laughs> it's it's pretty great. Okay, so uh, Slashy McGee, uh, <laughs> again named character because uh-huh, I'm uh-huh. a nerd. Uh, he's kind of my number two guy, uh, but I've also got Carl, who's kind of a thief. Uh, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna put her in front. I haven't renamed her yet. She's still pretty new. I usually. I don't name them till I get attached. Good. You gotta fucking earn it. Yeah, yeah. And this guy is uh, is pretty sweet. So we're gonna throw him in the number two or three position, uh, going from right to left. And uh, do we want to take? Uh, kind of looking for damage here. They do the same damage. All right, we're going to... Carl, you're going in. He's my thief. So where does this roster come from? Are these all characters you've recruited? You recruit them. Yeah, you recruit okay. them, and we'll do that because we're probably going to lose somebody along the way. <laughs> so, all right, once I've selected all my characters, I then go to the provision. And this is where I buy shit I'm going to need. So I'm going to need some torches. I usually get about ten of those. Uh, there's no firewood, which means... Uh, you know, it's a short dungeon. There's not going to be a time to, to do the camping thing, uh, which is, again, kind of the, the heal. Um, I'm going to pick up some food. Going to need that. Mm. It's probably more than I need, even. Um, I'm going to get a shovel, and that I'll, I'll show you when that comes into play. And I think that's it. And these are all my slots to uh, fill up with treasure I get along the way. Okay, and these are shared across all... Yes, Four yes. Characters. Okay. But each character, I do have slots for special items. So, uh, but as with everything, uh, very few of them um, come without a cost. Okay. So that one's okay. The speed stone gives me plus one speed. Uh, then I've got uh, this unholy slayer's ring. But uh, that, it, it decreases my dodge, which means I'm going to take more hits but it's going to give me more damage. Mm. So, um, yeah, it's in this game. Very few items are just, Hey, this is good. And it's these usually, are all loot that you've yes. collected. Okay, yes. And cool. <laughs> I, yeah, right. Yeah. All right. So this stuff is your weapons and armor. You're not looting anything for this. This is all just, um, you're, you're upgrading this in town. Okay. Okay. So, uh, the only thing I can really get loot-wise, uh, I put in these two, uh, slots beneath the back. So, okay, uh, we're good to go. Uh, we're gonna embark, 
And we're going to the Weald, which is basically a big swampy uh, sewer area. It's kind of a bog, essentially. And there's a lot of rat-based creatures, usually. Um, Eruption has soaked the soil. It's always good to start off with a nice rat base. Yeah, and also the dialogue or the the scripting in this game is so much fun. Um, It's very serious, but it it also kind of screws with you. Okay, so here's my screen. Uh, These are my adventurers. Looking good right now. Um, The uh, kind of lower right here, I can switch between the map, which is what we're looking at now. Um, or I can click on the bag here, and this is inventory. So that's all the stuff I bought in town. Um, I can't use that when I'm just hanging out in a room. Um, I could if like, a, if I, anyone needed a bandage and so forth. Uh, if I'm not in combat, I can freely swap between the characters. Uh, if I want to, I can change their order. Um, but uh, right now, uh, we're in the order that we would like. And, uh, yeah, so, um, we're gonna go back to the map screen, and I'm just gonna tell everybody, hey, we're gonna go to this room, um, because I think one of my guys has, um, maybe, uh, something with the wield. Yeah, here it is. Um, I believe he gets a scouting bonus, so that tells me... Um, that I've got two curios, which are kind of loot opportunities. Is this I, individual a jester? He is. Okay. Yeah. That's a, that's a real fucked up looking jester. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's real creepy looking. Um, and, uh, like I said, kind of a rogue. He's a highwayman. He doesn't uh, look funny. No, no. <laughs> um, a vestal, uh, or a seeker rather. Um, she is, uh, she's my healer, as I said. And then we've got a Hellion. Um, and you can also run into situations. One of the character classes, uh, or races, kind of, is Leper. Uh-huh. And you can't put, like, Crusaders and Priests or Vestals with a Leper because they think they're unholy and unclean. Uh-huh. So, yeah, like... There's a lot of weird, obscure rules and, and stuff going on in this game. Hmm. Um, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna move to the next room, and this is kind of where the game happens. Uh, the game's always happening, John. Who am I kidding? Mm. It's all a game. It uh, is it ever? It literally is. Anybody that tells you it's not a game is playing the game better than you. Yes. Yeah. So um, up here, this is the uh, bonus I get because everything is brightly lit. And I have to use... This will continually go down. I have to use torches to keep this up. But, John, Mm. if it's darker, you get penalties. But the loot is generally better. Okay. You know? I see what they're doing here. Sure, sure. Um, Okay, so uh, we're going to rush through this real quick because there's no combat. Um, All right, I move up to uh, this cross. It, it, It highlights automatically. And I just give it a click. And uh, so it's a shallow grave, and your choice is, hey, do you want to ignore this or grab it? I pretty much grab everything because I'm greedy. Why not? Yeah. So, uh, all right, I was going to be poisoned, but she uh, she dodged it. So, uh, well done, unnamed character so far. You make it through this, we'll talk. Um, okay, so another curio, open that up. And, hey, that was treasure. Some reward. So, that's the game, John. All right. It's disease or treasure. You never know. <laughs> Feast or famine. Yeah. Just like life. Sure. Okay. Uh, so, these are the rooms. I can actually just move to the side of the room, and it'll break up, bring up the map screen, but that's also... Okay. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, it's kind of neat. I like the transitions. Um, so, uh, so, we're going to trick along. Hey, here's some more stuff. Yep, sure enough. And uh, I got the blight, John. Damn it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so what that does is it's going to drain two, uh, two hit points from me for three rounds. I mean, that's what the blight does. So. Sure. sure. <laughs> no one's arguing that. <laughs> what are we going to do about it now? You yeah. know? And she'll call out occasionally when to she gets damage from that the my veins are on fire. So why did you want her in front? 
Um, for one thing, she's got a uh, pretty good hit point advantage over most of these characters. Okay. Um, also, and she tends to do the most damage. Also, FNGs are always on point. Sure. Yeah. yeah well, she's a <laughs> <shot>. Um. <laughs> So her powers are such that she does better. You'll see the positions in yellow on the left uh, indicates where in my order she is most effective or can use this ability. Okay. And then the red dots are which enemy position. Oh, okay. That's cool. All right. So she's in front because all her shit happens in the front of the line. Yeah. So... Um, so she literally cannot hit the fourth position. Right, and and okay. there are... Well, she can. Um, eh, no, no, no. Oh, I haven't unlocked this yet. Uh, this is a skill that I have unlocked in the other game, oh, okay. which does allow her to hit the very last position. Okay. So it's... Uh, John, so There's a lot of shit going on here. There, there kind of is. But this is why I bring the shovel, John. I ran into a thorny <laughs> thicket. And if you don't have a shovel, they have to kind of claw their way through it, which no. is... No. Yep, and that does damage to everybody. So, boom, we're going to hit the shovel. All right, it's out of, out of the way. So, like, always bring a shovel. Always like, bring a shovel, John. Every now and again, one. you'll pick one up in the dungeon, and you'll see... Um, oh, okay. So, uh, did you see the black numbers pop off? Yes. Uh, okay. That is stress. So, under my health bar... I have a stress meter. Mm. Okay? At a certain point, I will take damage, physical damage, from stress. And I will also start picking up those random quirks, uh, like the yips. <laughs> so, my uh, the jester has the yips. Uh. And uh, that's never good. That shit doesn't clear up. No. Yeah. Well, y you can send them to the sanitarium and get rid of the yips. Okay. So here's combat. Moved into a room. Uh, they um, looks like we're gonna have some um, back and forth combat. So I didn't surprise them or anything. They didn't surprise me, which gives them a free round, and that sucks. Um. Okay. So, uh, one other thing, when I hover over my enemies, um, it shows me uh, their stats. The one I'm interested with these guys is what's called Krot. Krot is basically protection, so it reduces any physical attack I make by 33%. Okay. But if I have any kind of ethereal damage, it doesn't protect against. Uh, there's, so some, there's some strategy going on here. Is what there saying. is, and they also want that first hit knocks uh, my my number two guy out of position. So I may have to burn a turn getting him moved back up. So oh, I see. okay, so let's do this. Uh, we're gonna go for eh, let's just go for a plain old smack. Is that what we want to do? Uh, yeah. Well, hold on. Eh. We might want to bleed these guys. So. Let's do that. Alright. So oh, when I hit him, choice. the bleed, you know, floated up. Which means I'm now doing an additional nine points of damage over the next three rounds. He is not going to last that long. Um, in nice. fact. Alright, so. I could move him up. I don't know that I need to. My concern is if this guy doesn't have anything in that number two slot to attack with. But uh, we'll deal with that in a second, because I'm going to use this pistol shot. So that's my active uh, skill. I'm going to shoot that. Alright. So that attack uh, that just hit me was basically just a stress attack which, again, will eventually cause physical damage. More importantly, they can get so freaked out that they'll just stop fighting. So, uh, that's not cool. Alright, so my healer has what's called Judgment. So this should do um, full damage against this guy. And, and still didn't kill him. Because you suck and you're new. Um, okay. 
Uh, so explain to me again the uh, the torch at the top of the screen. What effect is that currently having on on our situation? Um, right now, it's adding additional stress because it's dark. Yes, um, it, it's giving me higher criticals, and it's going to give me better loot. Yeah, but it's going to be you. You, you want to let that shit get dark, but if you start getting fucked up, you got to pop a torch. Right, and that's right. going to give me bonuses. And I, at some point, I'll need to. Right now, eh, I'm still in pretty good shape. Um, so, the decisive pummeling. So, like a, you know, again, we've got crit bonuses, so we're doing. It. Um, let's see if we can get rid of that thing. Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. And so this left behind a corpse, which means these are still in position behind this. Even though this isn't going to attack or come back to life or anything, it's just in the way. What is, what is the little yellow halo that they get over them after they after they hit? That is, if I if I score a critical or kill something, that is stress reduction. Nice. Okay. All right. So I can. There are characters that will just uh, will pick up actual positive quirks that make it so that they're continually sort of regenerating stress. Hmm. So that they're becoming de-stress. Uh, if... hmm. Alright. Annihilated. Yep. So that guy uh, killed and shot uh, or shot and killed him in one. So that's real good. Um, so I'm still in position to basically do what I need here. And We should get through the rest of this battle pretty cleanly. Um, all right. Yep, there we go. So what's up with the mushroom thing on their side? That's the corpse. That's just a, like a cracked open... Right, that's... Oh, yeah, because that was one of those kind of fucked up mushroom-looking monsters. Okay. Right. So uh, let's get my party back in uh, some kind of order here. Is that thing sitting there, like, freaking your guys out at all? Because there's, like, a nasty corpse laying there? Does that add to their stress or fear I, or anything? You know, I'm not sure that it does. I don't mm. think so. All right. Um, all right, so let's uh, get some more loot. And sometimes even these room treasures, uh, like after a battle, will just be another trap. It's all just kind of a dice roll thing. Mm. Um, okay, so uh, we're going to head to the next room. And that's one of the room battles. That's what we're trying to complete. Okay. is marching to a room, killing the shit inside it. There is not always a, uh, a creature uh, waiting for you. Um, so can you can you leave? Can you go back to town, or do you have to complete this dungeon? No, I can retreat, but okay. that's going to jack up everyone's stress level. Okay. And I, you know, obviously you don't want to if you don't have to, but you can. The, uh, the monster design on this is fucking incredible looking. They're really cool. They're really gross. Like this skeleton just yeah. floating in ectoplasm is yeah. uh, is pretty gnarly. Uh, it's a real it's a real basic you know style, but it's really effective. It's cool, man. Uh, all right, so we're just gonna get rid of that thing. Executed with impunity. Executed with impunity. <laughs> uh, again, I love the the voiceover in this. I think it's real good. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do this grape shot blast, which is gonna injure everyone, but only a little bit. But that's uh, that's gonna bring us down uh, to a real manageable. Hit. Uh, da -da -da. Hover over the uh, the corpse, and see, it doesn't appear like there's any. You're still doing damage to the corpse, though. Oh, I think I had. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, okay. You have to clear those corpses sometimes okay. to get to an enemy. And oh, so, I get it. Okay. Yeah, so sometimes you have to kind of waste your turn um, dealing with that nonsense. Their formation is broken. Uh, so yeah, so that just left a, a, a pile of poo with a skull in it when I killed that thing in the back. Um, so, eh, again, everyone's health is pretty good. I may go ahead and heal her up. Uh, and uh, I'm kind of checking as I'm looking over this. I'm checking the resistances, and a lot of this dude does. Uh, this guy's um, abilities are kind of bleed damage based. Okay. 
that. Um, so, yeah. Um, instead, we're gonna just shoot this guy. Continue the onslaught. When in doubt. Destroy them all. Yeah, absolutely. With your pistol out. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's kind of bleed damage base, but who cares? Um, and this thing multiplies is kind of the bitch of it, so uh, we're trying to get rid of that Another thing. Abomination mm. cleansed from our lands. And yeah, there we go. So right now I'm, I'm doing real, real well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and crank up the light for the journey here. Um, but this With could all go south measure. very fast. Awarded Are you only going to have encounters in rooms, like. or no. does it occur along the way also? Like, I just went into a room and ran into all these spiders. Okay. Um, I was in a hallway for that last battle. So okay. it can kind of come anytime. Okay. And the spider dodged my holy attack, which is uh, a real bitch. But uh, yeah, fortunately, spiders, man. One. Yeah, these spiders are pretty squishy. Fortunately, but they they can they have this stun attack, which is a real pain in the ass, and also poison, which would like like the bleed effect. That's just going to cause damage. Over time. Um. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be. Uh. So, obviously, you want to try to clear, like, if you can kill just one thing on the board uh, in, a, in a round, yeah. then you're just reducing your chances of... Because you can't heal in between encounters, really. Okay. And, yeah, so your healing kind of takes place in combat here. Um, so, As you want to give yourself pulls. some opportunities and obviously Think take as little damage blossoms. as possible and just give them as few turns as possible as my... Uh, my general way to uh, to go back. back to the pit. So you're uh, a couple of hits ago. Your your noob in the back there was marked. What does that mean? That means uh, that she is a target for all the enemies. Oh, okay. right. So they She's... they they view her as like the biggest threat, and they're concentrating just like you're doing. Be gone. Please. Yes, okay. I, like, but I can also mark an enemy, which also debuffs. Them. Okay. And yeah, yeah, it's a real like it, it. It basically changes. It makes the the focus for attacks that the enemy is more likely to attack them, and also less resistance to that attack. Huh. So yeah, it's a real pain in the ass. See, so, yeah, I got a shovel, which uh, uh, I can uh, use if we run into another uh, piece of crap uh, in the middle of the hallway. And also, this protection stone is uh, you know a fairly common buff but I may have someone... Like, she doesn't have shit, so... Yeah. Uh, I can... Go ahead and throw that in there. And... Alright. Uh, let's, again, change our order, because those uh, tentacular um, things tend to knock everyone out of whack. Um, I have run into a situation... In fact, uh, one of the runs I did just before we uh, recorded... Um, was uh, kind of an archer character and oh. ended up uh, the two guys in between had died. So uh, there was absolutely no attack I could make from that number two position. Uh, oh. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Um, okay, so... So to figure all this stuff out, is there like a, a decent tutorial that kind of helps you out with nope. learning all these? Really? Okay, wow. All right. Yep, it is just, here's the game, here are the basic functions. Uh, but figure none it of, out. Yeah, but you're, you're, you're going to figure it out in time. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, wow. it's a, a cruel teacher at times. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, so a little more combat. Um, again, these guys are going to multiply. Uh, so I kind of want to get rid of them first, but eh. Their damage is, is kind of kind of rough. All right, uh, the, we'll the floaty them. guys, the uh, the the bag uh, bag of skeleton. Those yeah. are the they multiply. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna hit both of these. The ground quakes. All right. Uh, let's try. Yeah, we might we might get lucky. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so 
Um, you know, the healer sometimes I'll, you know, use her for combat as well, although there are definitely matches where that whole role is just, please keep these uh, these guys alive a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, and... There we go. Nice crit. Um, and... Yeah, so I can't quite reach with that power. So let's go back to this guy, and you'll see the brackets appear. Uh, we'll clear that. And... And actually, like I said, this run's going real well. My stress levels are super low. My health's real good. Uh, we're kind of tearing our way um, through these enemies pretty quickly. And uh, that is all real, real good news. And yeah, there we go. Another another battle under the belt. Dolan. So how does this uh, how does this game like scale? Like, say you are doing a run and you just get wiped, and all four of your characters just get fucking wasted. Yes. And happens. then you need to go back and pick four new characters. Do you need to like then go back to dungeons that were lower level to kind of build them up before yeah. you can get back? Oh man. Okay. So, but here's rough. Yeah, yeah. It's real fucked up. Uh, okay, so we, we actually completed all the room battles. We can continue looking around this dungeon if we want, but we're going to go back to town. So, uh, again, that Finding was corruption is an a, a, a fantastic run. But we got our quest rewards here. Um, like, uh, this can only be worn by a leper. I don't have any lepers right now, but, you know. Everybody ends up with a leper sooner or later, John. That's common knowledge. It's just a rule. I mean, they teach you that in grade school. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get your leper yet? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah, okay. We're getting ours Something. next week. Okay, oh, nice. so this is where it tells me, like, hey, I've uh, you know, got uh, some upgrades here. Uh, Carl the Highwayman is now up to level three. That's cool. Um... So yeah, everybody's uh, getting some experience points, and I can use those uh, to get them new skills and, and increase the power of the skills they have. But these little masks right here in the middle, these are the quirks, John. These are the things that uh, are going to define the character's personality. Huh. So uh, much like Hearthstone, we're just going to click on it, and it cracks open. Oh, nice. Uh, this guy's bulimic. That's so, gross. Uh, it is, but at that, in this case, it's actually to our benefit. Well, uh, well, let me let me just guess that has something to do with poison. No. What, oh, damn. <laughs> what it is is that uh, when you camp, camp, it, you're essentially buying your camping time with food. So you get a certain number of rounds in which you can perform actions like healing someone or reducing their strengths. Mm. So bulimic means that his healing skill skills cost 20% less. Nice. Because one assumes he is not eating that much and then throwing it up, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty funny. And it's like a twofer. Yeah. So yeah. let's see what this guy got. Um, <laughs> he, he now has a fear of beasts. So uh, he is... Uh, uh, he gets more stress when he is damaged by a beast. Um, uh, and I don't care for that. No. Also, uh, he's got the healer's gift, so his uh, heal skills are 20% higher uh, during the campaign as well. So, all right. We didn't have anyone die. Everybody's coming back. Uh, nobody is too screwed up. I mean... What, what constitutes uh, camping? You, the terrible camping is uh, when, when you pick one of the longer dungeon runs, you'll okay. see a little firewood icon in your inventory. And you need, like I said, you're buying time around the campfire uh, with food. But to camp, you just need to be in a, a room, essentially, and right-click on it. And, and okay. then that launches you into the camping phase. Interesting. So, yeah, it's, again, like everything with this game, it's very deliberate. Instead of just having to go back to town because you need to heal up or retool or something, you can just take a little sit down and yes, accomplish that. That's cool. Yeah. And also, it doesn't reset the dungeon, which going back to town would do. Ah. Uh, 
So the the trick is to try to get as far into a dungeon as you can, then go then do the camp, so that you're good for the last couple of battles. Are we just scratching the surface of the depth of this game still? It's you know I feel like we're getting pretty deep into it. Okay, All but right. let me show you what town is like. So this will tell me the events while in that last combat phase. Uh, in my last dungeon crawl, if you will. So, like, hey, these folks are now leveling uh, leveling up. Um, Shifty, our, our kleptomaniac, uh, he prayed, uh, recovered 69 stress, and he's not crazy anymore. Hmm. So he's no longer irrational, although that is probably my favorite affliction uh, because uh, he just spouts crazy talk all through the game. And that's, that's kind of fun. Uh, Dr. Bones... He, uh, he had a night on the town, recovered 56 stress. Doesn't look like um, he, uh, he lost any of his quirks, though. Um, okay. So, oh. that's kind of our uh, combat log to tell us uh, what's been going on. Um, so, let me show you these buildings and what this is all about. Uh, let's first go to the stagecoach. The stagecoach is where new, uh, new folks show up. So, um, every week, three new people show up. I can upgrade that. There's an upgrade path for everything in this game. And, uh, so if I wanted to, I could boost the number of available heroes. Huh. Alright, so, uh, I don't know if I want to do that right now, because I've got a pretty full roster. I got that second healer I wanted. I could really use somebody that was kind of a front of the line person. Are you um, trying to take different people? I mean, it seems like you, because you have to kind of rest some of the people and send them into town and go to the bar and whatnot, that you are bringing different people out. So you're kind of leveling up a set of characters, not just like a power four all the time. Yes. Yes. Okay. And I try to mix and match so that, um, you know, it, that every character is, is seeing a little bit of action. And uh, the last run I had was pretty disastrous. I lost three of the four uh. um, before doing this. And uh, so, yeah, it, it's sometimes, you know, you get the bear and sometimes the bear gets you, John. And Can you uh, go back and repeat dungeons to kind of grind a little bit? You can't really grind because there is a progression okay. through those. Like, okay. uh, if I hit embark, like it continues to level up the area that I was in. Okay. So there is every chance in the world I could get to a stage where I could no longer run like level zero characters through here and expect to survive more than a battle if that. Okay. But one of the upgrade paths on the stagecoach is to um, get more experienced re recruits so their level coming in oh. is higher. Okay. But that prerequisite is all this other stuff that you see here, like all this le other level two stuff. So essentially I would have to be able to upgrade everyone I have to level two before I can get level two people in. Seems like they've thought of everything. It's pretty well thought out. Huh. Um, okay, so that's my stagecoach. That's usually my first stop. Who's in town? Who do I need? Uh, this time nobody. Uh, the Nomad Wagon, uh, that is just, um, like, super rare items uh, that are gener generally um, mostly positive. So, uh, but they're really expensive, and, I don't know, I just, I, I can't bring myself to, uh, to buy this stuff when I'm still so low level with these guys, so. Well, and there's all that loot to be found. Sure, sure, yeah. Okay, so um, now that I've got some folks uh, that I can upgrade here, um, let's go to the guild. So, uh, as it suggests, I can drag a hero from my roster. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can do anything with Carl. No, nope, no, nope, not really. So, I just dragged the portrait into here, and this is my upgrade path, and this is all blocked off because I have to have... Um, the proper guild level. Uh. And 
all right. <laughs> so, there the types of currency you use in the game as kind of the meta player where you're upgrading all this stuff is down here at the bottom. There are busts and portraits and deeds and crests. That is basically in the lore of the game. Um, that is the stuff you're recovering as you're going through all these old ruins and the areas and stuff like that. And that's what you use to upgrade stuff. And I just haven't gotten enough uh, portraits to upgrade the game. So, um, somebody that is probably upgradable. Eh, I've already upgraded her. Uh, what about this guy? Yeah, he's already upgraded. Oh, okay. Here we go. So my uh, the uh, cleric or Vestal that I, uh, I I took with us last time out, the newbie. Um, so she leveled up, and I can now upgrade all her abilities to level two. So uh, I'm probably gonna do that for that and that for sure. And that costs gold to upgrade. But I can also unlock powers here, hmm. and I don't know that I want either of those just yet. Um, that dazzling light doesn't do much for me. I may, you know what? What we're gonna do is I'm going to unlock this mace bash, which is only something useful in the one or two slot, but uh, that last run taught me that even if you're not using that all the time, she's got her other stuff uh, in the back of the line, and if she does get pulled up front, at least, you know, she's yeah. somewhat useful. Yeah. Okay, so um, that's so all. It, it appears uh, you're, at the top of your roster there, it says 10 of 12. Is that a maximum that can be increased? Yes, I can increase my roster. Um, so now currently, that we... currently now though you can only have twelve characters to choose from. Right, right. Imagine. Essentially, okay. in my mind, that's kind of three teams of four. Yeah, and ideally, that's kind of what you're shooting for. Um, so uh, I'm gonna with her uh, character screen open. Um, we're going to get rid of this hand of light thing and select mace bash. So, um, you know, I can unlock other skills. I can choose uh, other skills if uh, there's something I prefer and uh, upgrade those as needed. So, um, now that we've upgraded the character, we're not done, John. Because now I can go uh, upgrade her weapons and her armor. So, we're going to spend a little gold getting her up to snuff. And... Uh, let's see. Anything in here I want to upgrade? Eh. Um. Again, th to get everything to level two or three, um, requires just th the uh, the currency that you're generating by you know running missions in the game. Yeah. So that's yeah. good. Um. All right. Lastly, let's uh sort again by stress. And actually, nobody's. Super stressed. Uh, all right, well let's let's see what it would cost to get him fixed up in the sanitarium. Um, that's reducing costs. Uh, it's like a good thing that you came across this town that has all this stuff. <laughs> it sure is, but they're also heavily dependent on me. That's true. Yeah. Um, all right, so if I want to get rid of his quirk, it would cost me 5,000 gold to do so. Mm. Right, that seems pricey. Yeah. And it's not too in the way. But, you know, as you're going through the game, the, the amount of gold and uh, the, the value of the items that you're picking up uh, increases as well. So that's not that much money as time goes on. Um, but, uh, yeah... And then, you know, our Abby and, uh, let's see, if I wanted to, let's say, you know what, let's show this guy a good time. Uh, let's take him to the brothel. And I wonder, no, I can't upgrade that. But, uh, so we'll, we'll tell him to, uh, you know, get his groove on. And 
he is now kind of closed off in my roster. Um, and we're going to do the same thing for Shifty here. I love the, the confirm treatment button. Sure. Classic. <laughs> and so now he's off praying. And uh, so, yeah, so they're kind of locked out now. Uh, and then rinse and repeat, man. Hmm. Uh, oh, one other thing. Uh, here's the survivalist. This uh, also increases uh, abilities at camp. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead. Success depends on survival. Uh, upgrade that. Uh, but I, you know, at this point in the game, you're not doing so much camping that it is uh, uh, kind of important to have those survival skills kind of boosted up. But you know, the higher level you get, and you're only going to get to level, you know, the highest level guy I've got is five in my other game, and it's, mm. you know, he is alone. Uh, yeah. Everyone it seems else. Like he it seems like you can kind of spread around these upgrades pretty well. Like, it, it doesn't seem like you're really not able to apply, you know, some needed upgrades to your characters. Like, you've got enough gold and, and other currency to do that. Yeah, and, you know, you want to keep a certain amount of gold uh, reserved, um, you know, because when you go through your provision stage, all of that costs money. And, uh, yeah. It's like there's all these weird little uh, systems all at play here. Um, you know, I like the turn-based combat. combat. Uh, I really like the character design. Um, the quirk stuff gets really funny and frustrating in equal measure. <laughs> um, because the kind of the... Like when you have somebody that's super stressed out and they're talking all crazy, it stresses everyone else out in your party. So uh, it's it's pretty great, John. Is there? I mean, so I'm assuming there's no way to like save a state right here. And then if you went forward and you just got completely fucked up and like going back and reloading and like safe scumming. No, the game explicitly tells you like I've got. You can start a new estate. Okay. But uh, you can't save within that estate. So whatever okay. that is. Whatever happens, happens. That's right. It is. Hmm. It's harsh. Yeah, it's hardcore, and like we had a really good run there. I'm almost glad we captured that for posterity, because most of them end in tragedy and tears. We should probably just go back out. You think? Okay. Yeah, just one more. Let's All see, right. Let's All see right. what happens. Uh, okay, so let's uh, do our sort. I don't, I don't like ending on a high note. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, it's boring. It's like a Hollywood ending. Sure. Fuck that. You know, honestly, she's probably in the best shape to uh, to lead us here. Just give me the A team here. Um, that guy's fairly new. He's in. You know, it's that's not a bad lineup. All right, we're gonna send you back in. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever done this, uh, where we just send the same folks. Uh, all right, this is another room battle one. Um, oh, uh, I don't think I can take, is it him I can't take? I wonder why. Uh, or maybe I'm just, oh yeah, yeah, I can't take him. Who was it that got kicked out there? Uh, it was, uh, Carl, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So he's saying he's too high level to go through it, so... <laughs> okay. All right, All right Carl. Carl. Yeah, just dial it back a little bit. He is a known cheat. He can't... I can't uh, gamble <laughs> in town to reduce his stress. Mm. But uh, otherwise, good guy. Yeah. A little bit of a gambling problem. Okay, so... Uh, all right. Uh, we have... The one we have... All right, let's, uh, let's name him real quick, because that's always fun. This is our, our Hellion. What should we name her? Hmm. How about Chloris? I like that. It's Chloris. Good. It's a classic. It's a good name. The the name of a handsome woman. Uh, we have Slashy McGee, just like he sounds. He likes mm -hmm. to slash stuff. Uh, we have our Stranger. He is our masked man. Uh, and then we have... Uh, our, this is our healer who made it through last time. 
send her right back in because uh, does she have a name yet? She does not. Let's give her one. Spunkmeyer. Spunkmeyer. Uh, is it I E R? Uh, M E Y E R. Okay. All right, Spunkmeyer. It's the pilot at the beginning of Alien. That, yes, it is. That stoves it into the ground, blows everything up. Spunkmeyer. Okay. So this is a level one uh, kind of situation. Uh, we'll, let's provision ourselves up. Okay, no campfire, so we're going to grab some torches. Let's grab plenty of food. Let's get a shovel. Some bandages. I think that's got us. All right, let's do this. Actually, I have to correct myself. Spunkmeyer was like the, the co-pilot, if I'm... Right, because it was yes. the pilot. Was the pilot was, said, yes. Spunkmeyer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I just, yeah, I, I can't let that stand. I can't be wrong about something from Aliens. That would... Something would, that I, important. <laughs> I would not fucking Quickly, sleep tonight. In the dark. <laughs> All right, Perhaps so I got, uh, I, I got a scout, which is going to tell me what's in what room. Or what's in the hallways, rather. So if I go to my left, I got a trap... But I have a couple of curios, and I stand a chance of disabling that trap. If I go this way, which I'm going to need to do both eventually, um, then I'm going to hit room battles, but there's a battle on the way to that one. And I might be able to come up... Yeah, I can come up this way. So that may you know, not ultimately be uh, that smart, but we're going to go... We're going to go left. All right, so up oh, there's the trap. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil. I thought intent. that was in front of me, and usually it'll let me uh, try to disable it, but that didn't happen that time. Um, all right, some loot. Nope. Uh, now she is bloodthirsty, and which means that she is fascinated with injury, wounds, and torture. Mm. Uh, which generally means um, she'll be a, uh, a target, like, during battle, she'll mark herself. Um, it's fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it kind of is. Alright, so <laughs> we've got a battle. Yeah, there are masochists in this game that will do that as well. Um, okay. Uh, a powerful blow. So we've got bleed damage going on this one. That's cool. Back to the pit. All right, we're gonna clear some of this out real quick. Um, bum, bum, bum. Let's do judgment and the kill that falls, thing. Oh, also that judgment falls. attack she has that fires the lightning on dudes uh, heals her a little bit too. Which is... I can't believe that they haven't nerfed it yet. Um, so, here's another fun thing I can do with uh, this guy, Slashy McGee. Uh, the come hither thing. I can do very little damage to that guy in the back. But drag him to nearly the front of the line so I can hit him with more dudes. Nice. It's like the scorpion from Mortal Kombat or something. Yeah, it's real. Get over here. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm just going to start laying into that guy because he's got a uh, uh, an attack that allows him to do damage on everyone surges as the enemy crumbles. Uh, with that little drum of his so uh, alright abomination cleansed from our lands again that all went real real well so uh, maybe this is the dream team man yeah, maybe I'm just that good. Uh, all right. Uh, do I want to go back and go down? Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go back and down and see if... Uh, that's going to put two more battles directly in front of us. One of them's a room battle. And since that's kind of our mission here, um, that's what we're going to try to do. So... Um. Up. Oh, Such another, blockages are unsupported. Another wall of crud. These tunnels Thanks to our handy dandy shovel, we don't have to worry about that though. And that's that's 
one of the best decisions we've made here in the season is that shoulder. It's probably the only good decision I've ever made in my life. Um, <laughs> all right. And, all right. So we got a bleed going on him. That's good. Um, and in the early goings, you know, like the, the hit points aren't crazy on the enemy side, although some of the uh, abilities can be a little uh, a little frustrating, especially when they start jerking the order of your party around. Mm. Uh, I don't care for that, John. Not one Yeah, bit. That ain't cool. Nope, nope. And uh, neither is uh, dodges like that, but... Um, Alright, let's go ahead and heal somebody. Yeah, this, uh, the Acolyte in the back, um, you, well, yeah, like I said, has that, uh, kind of pull ability that also causes stress, so I, uh, try to get rid of her whenever possible. Yeah. And we'll, uh, just take turns lobbing at that guy. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and mark him. So that's how I mark someone. And you'll see that it gives them uh, extra damage and also reduces their protection. So basically anything that hits them is just going to be devastating. And... Yeah, it gave him a free attack, but it worked out for me. I'm going to mark him again, John. Because that's all I can do from that position. But it will stack. Oh, nice. Yeah. Up to a point, like, you can you can stack bleeds up to, like, three. Huh. And uh, so that can be like, super useful. Executed but there's also a character in the game that uh, an occultist is what they're called that has victory. healing abilities, but, but every time you heal someone, you, you can potentially bleed them. So that's a real pain in the ass. I'm, I'm I'm just impressed that there wasn't a tutorial for any of this shit, and you've you've managed to figure all this out. This seems like, man, I don't even know. <laughs> it seems incredible. Like, You're right, John. It is. Yes, I, I mean I'm impressed. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, let's do. Eh, I don't really need to do a bleed. We're just gonna go straight on the dots here. Yep, and now I'm marked uh, just for that attack. I don't think I've ever seen a game like this before. I mean, this is really, really unique. Yeah, yeah, yeah it kind of is, and it's... Destroy there are so many little all. pieces of the game um, that make a lot of Be sense. Gone, you know, like... There's a balance to this game that is difficult to describe uh, completely because it's like every... There are all these interlocking pieces, but the weirdest stuff balances with everything. You know, like it, it's intensely complicated yeah. um, in terms of just like managing the characters and then having the randomness of the game completely screw you over and not getting put off by that is I mean, something that the game does really well. Uh, you know, I mean, you gotta know that you're in for dice rolls, and when you're playing a dice roll game, that shit happens. You know, it's just, it's odds. Odds just fucking happen, so. Um, and see, again, my stress levels are too low. We're not gonna unfortunately see anything Another ridiculous one out of these. I should have should have grabbed a shifty because uh, he would most certainly um, have been spewing nonsense by now. Um, but we, we still have battles to get. And keep healing. Uh, da -da -da. Is there anything about this that you've discovered that just isn't doing it for you? Like, it seems pretty well thought out, like everything seems to kind of work well together. I mean, have you gotten to any part of it yet where you're just like, oh man, I wish it didn't do that or just um, better if? Only in the sense of getting real frustrated when I get kind of strangely attached to some of these characters. 
And there is there are definitely moments of uh, like, god damn it, like I you know I really wanted um, that character to hang around. That's something I that's really so much time. Yeah, anymore. that's something that's really cool about these kind of team based roguelikes. Though, like you get that same feeling with like XCOM. You know? It's the closest analogy I have to why I like this game so much is why I like the XCOM games. Is that yeah. you kind of there are these uh, weird emergent stories that you create. Yeah. Um, this is the hunger phase. Like this happens as, as the deeper you uh, venture into a dungeon. Mm. So if you don't have the amount of food you need to like, and this is going to happen almost every dungeon, so you have to bring enough food for it. But if you're also camping, that requires a lot of food too. So that's why if I'm if you ever see firewood in here, you got to kind of load up on health or on food. Uh, if I don't have enough food, it's going to damage me rather than heal me. No. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, so here's a case where I don't have the shovel because we've already used that. So I'm gonna have to just clear it by hand, and that's gonna damage iron, everybody. You must rely on it's flesh, probably like an you know, gross gooey, purpose. Uh, garbage blocking the way. Um, I don't know what an antiquarian is. That's a new class that I haven't seen yet, which hmm. is cool. A lot of stress. Uh oh. Oh no! What was that? Ah, uh, ruminator. Minus ten stress heals. All right. God. <laughs> five grand is what it costs to get rid of that Dolan. Man, it's five thousand in-game currency for clicking on that scroll. Um. Just when everything was going so well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still going to be. Uh, all right, yeah, the, so this the, the, the enemy variety is the enemy variety is really really good. Yeah, I love this. Uh, the lunatic just clutching his head and, and being crazy in the back there. Yeah. That's pretty great. And uh, we got a little hawk guy whose legs are too small, so he uses his arms. Yeah. We got a hook guy, big tusky boar with a cleaver. But he's got like a like a vestigial skull twin growing out of his chest there. It's, yeah, it's cool. Their formation is broken. Some good shit. <laughs> yeah, defensive. yeah. I mean, I mean, I, everything about this game, I'm really into. Uh, all right, we got some increasing stress levels. We may get some fun here in a minute. Uh, let's go after him. All right. Uh, so once a character is stunned, they're buffed for a minute, uh, which means it's hard to stun them immediately the next time. And that happens if I stun someone too. The enemy okay. gets that same buff. Um, all right, we're uh, a devastating just blow. get rid of that guy. And yeah, again, things are going pretty swimmingly in the grand scheme of things. Um, Probably heal myself up. And. Uh, Alright. I can't really get to that guy. What are the uh, the white squares below your health bar? That is my stress. Okay. okay. That is. That's. Uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Spunkmeyer. Spunkmeyer back here is getting right on the verge of being in, in bad shape. Okay. Um, so I can't attack this lunatic directly uh, or madman uh, so I've got to clear a corpse with one of my things which you don't want to do but I'm, I'm doing pretty well here I'm, I'm, I feel confident that we're going to make it is there any alternative to that? no like I mean if you, if you had like a ranged attack it, yeah yeah like other a... characters could have hit but that character uh, okay. specifically could have hit. okay all right. Well struck. Uh, all right. This guy's we... fucking stressful, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at him, man. Yeah. You run into this, and, and you know you gotta kill him. That's that's a bad time. All right. Uh, so your jester right. guy is hard as fuck, man. He... <laughs> it's like he doesn't give a shit about what's going on here. 
just murdering fools. Uh, yeah, yeah. And he has an attack. The reason he's in front is one of his attacks will actually shoot him to the front of, uh, or, or shoot him forward one space. And that's pretty handy if you run into um, a lot of situations where, like, that character's getting bounced backward. Mm. Um, so that's cool. Um, yeah, let's touch the Eldritch Altar. What could go wrong? <laughs> Um, Which brings me to my next question. Oh, wait, here we go. Fear and frailty finally claim them. That's it. So, mm. she hit a stress level, which brings up that dice roll of what is this going to cause? Mm. And uh, right now, she is uh, she's fearful. Mm. But she seems to be fortifying herself with some inner inner monologue there as well though well <laughs> yeah the <laughs> the problem with a character being fearful is that sometimes uh during combat they'll run to the back mm. and also sometimes just not fight and be frozen in fear mm. yeah that's not helpful no not even a little bit mm. uh but fortunately we have uh we have finished our task and uh so the scroll that you clicked on earlier that added a that added a quirk yes that character can you just get unlucky and keep hitting those scrolls and the same character keeps getting more and more quirks added until they're basically just useless uh sure really yeah wow. and, and then you would have to spend a fortune to uncrazy them. man yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah that's hardcore yeah it's uh All right. it sure is uh, it's not pulling any punches. I like that. I mean, it's... All right. That's that's really all the rooms. Uh, we're going to head back to town. Um, is there an end game to this? Yeah, you can you are doing get just and unlock the darkest them. dungeon. And, and, and complete it. And complete it, yeah. <laughs> and, right. and save your land. That sounds hard. Yeah, but uh, I got to tell you, it's super fun when it's going down. Okay, let's, uh, let's unlock some quirks here. Uh, Chloris, who is fearful, that's not cool. That's like when I when I send them off to do the uh, stress reduction uh, sessions, like in the uh, the abbey or the tavern, that will eventually go away. Oof. The fearful. This, however, she is now um, a weapon taker, and uh, she takes uh, or she garners more stress if the torch falls below a certain level. Hmm. So, let's check out this guy. Um, okay, so no stress penalty when walking backwards. Fair enough. Just something you don't really do very often in this game. Hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, the only way to reduce her, her stress is uh, to drink. She's a tippler. Sounds fun. So, <laughs> But, but I get uh, the uh, a better scouting chance if I take her into the woods. So, and that's that what kind of radar ping where you see everything along the path. I feel like Spunkmeyer was the right name choice. Yes. Yeah. Spunkmeyer, you drunk bitch. Oh, uh, um, name once so well really okay. fucking us on this one, Spunkmeyer. Oh, this is good really stuff. Okay, here we go. So, Shifty uh, saw a glimpse of greater beings. Uh, he now has the quirk god fearing so now he'll only pray when I take him to town <laughs> and then uh, he recovered 69 <laughs> stress so good job shifty you're really really doing nothing for me <laughs> um, his stress is almost nothing now but uh, his quirks are going to be almost out of hand alright but uh, Frizzle here uh, got more out of a night of debauchery than memories only. He now has syphilis. Nice. <laughs> so that reduces his maximum hit points, uh, the damage he can do, and uh, uh, I believe that five is his armor class, isn't she? Um, so, yeah, he recovered some stress, but now he's... Stressed. <laughs> permanently debilitated, yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Fressel, I'm not even naming you. I'm just going to use you for cannon fodder. <laughs> um, so Shifty here now is, ugh, he's a real mess. Can you can you like 
give the enemy syphilis? I think you gotta <laughs> fuck him for that. <laughs> well, I mean, how deep does this game go, man? I think, yeah, you're, you've about <laughs> seen it, but, I mean, how much deeper does it need to go? Uh, so, all right, that is Darkest Dungeon. That, that's amazing. I'm kind of blown away. There's a lot going on here. It's, uh, it is super fun in a really frustrating way, but I, I gotta tell you, it's one of those games I wish was out for, um, like a, a Android or iOS. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Like, this would be perfect on a tablet. Yeah. <clears throat> or even a phone, like, if you could get the fonts and, you know, <clears throat> the layout of the, the interface right, it would, it would be really fun to have on a phone. Yeah, yeah, and it seems lightweight enough that you could get away with it, but, yeah. uh, um, I, regardless, phone, tablet, uh, we got it right here on the, uh, the good old PC, uh, mm-hmm. John. And it's been out long enough that uh, occasionally you'll see a good deal on it pop up uh, on a Steam sale. Mm -hmm. And Like, what are we talking? uh, You know, 15 bucks. Okay. Seems totally worth it. Yeah, and that doesn't seem uh, crazy at all to me uh, for this game. And this is is in full release now as well. It's no longer early access? Uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to confirm all of that right now. All right. Uh, Let's see here. I can do that. It is twenty five bucks okay. right now, um, and it was fully released January nineteenth. Was the actual uh, okay. release? So not that long ago. Yeah. So and it was in like the last time I played it, as I said, was in you know early early release, and. Um, I, it, most of the systems that you're seeing at work here, like the torch was in there, the stress was in there, um, the uh, the stagecoach. Uh, oh, an antiquarian. Sure enough, I'm going to grab you. She searches and where others will it. not okay. go. I'm glad we went to the stagecoach just then. Um, will not see. But yeah, uh, you know, that early stuff was there, like the survivalist stuff was uh, wasn't there. I can't remember if camping was a thing yet. I think it was. Uh, but the upgrade pass with the guild and the blacksmith um, w- weren't there. The abbey... I want to say the abbey and tavern were. I don't remember the sanitarium being a working thing when I played it. Um, but yeah, so all that stuff has blown out. So, man, you can spend forever in, uh, in, in town just tweaking your characters yeah. and trying to min max them a little bit and pairing them up and just going through your list of people and like, okay, well that person's going to be my number three slot. And is there a better, uh, a better power that they have that would be fe- better in that slot? And, oh man. Oh, the rabbit holes, John. <laughs> it goes deep. It this does. Seems, this seems really cool. I just added it to my wish list. All right. Uh, well, thanks for uh, venturing into the darkest dungeon with me. Yeah, absolutely. This is great. Yeah. Uh, and now uh, I'm going to go back because I can't stop, John. I can't stop. 